Well, you treat them like a member of your family, but have you ever considered what would happen to your pets if you couldn't take care of them any longer? As Jim Donovan explains, there's something called a pet trust that could help you protect your beloved companion. This is Mischief. His owner set up a trust fund before he died to ensure his five cats stayed together in his house. But home alone, their health started to fail, so trustees enlisted the help of a cat rescue group looking for one person to adopt all the cats. Meow Village's part is going to be vetting these people and then going to their homes. Um, routinely to make sure the cats are being treated just how we want them to be. But a pet trust is not for every pet owner. You'd use a pet trust if you had a larger group of animals or a particular very valuable animal that's going to live a long time. There are other ways to make sure your animal is cared for if you die first or are disabled. You sit down and think about, okay, if I don't show up tonight, where should, who should come take care of this animal and then go talk to that person, provide them with the access. Using an attorney to put this in your will is one option, or there are do-it-yourself estate planning forms. Another option, the Humane Society. Their Friends Forever program promises to care for your pet and find them a new home if you make a donation through your will. At the very least, make sure someone you want to care for your pets is aware of that and agrees they'll step in. Peace of mind and permanent care for your pet. The Humane Society's Friends Forever program varies by state. Animal groups say it's a good idea to carry a pet alert card in your wallet, indicating who to call if something happens to you. They also suggest having a pet care list posted in your home that provides information like your pet's habits, food preferences, vet information, and medical care. Reporting for Three on Your Side, I'm Jim Donovan.